weekdays at BYU are filled with schoolwork and friends, but for the predominantly LDS student body, the weekend is just as busy with church. Reporter Jeff Merrill takes us to the new building that will house many of those student saints. Driving down 9th East in Provo, you may notice a new big building. In fact, you won't be able to miss it. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints just finished construction on this one-of-a-kind building. It's not quite a stake center. I'm going to seat another 40 or so people in the High Council room. It's not quite a conference center. Fan-shaped chapel, which puts people closer to the pulpit, allows us to get more people closer to the pulpit, so there's an improved engagement level. It's not quite an institute building. So we've got five large assembly rooms for up to 200 per room, and that's for institute classes. And it's definitely not your average church building. The state clerk's office here and 12 bishop's offices and clerk's offices. What it really is, is 5,000 square feet of whatever it needs to be. The church used the land to build their biggest meeting house, and they didn't waste any time with it. As soon as they opened the doors, they put this church building right to work. After that, most, if not all, of those bishops had moved down here and started seeing students, and so it was quickly used for that, those purposes. Because of the high concentration of LDS church members in Provo, they will use the building each week for state conferences. In fact, it will house two state conferences every single week for the whole year. But really, they built this meeting house because of one thing, BYU. The unique situation here at BYU is so many LDS young men and women that need a, a place for state conference. On campus, the students will still meet where they've been meeting for regular Sunday services. The building houses four stake offices and 48 bishops offices from BYU student congregations. Most BYU ward bishops now have an office here. And while the bishops may be excited about the new building, the only ones who could match their enthusiasm would be professors on campus. The competition between professors and bishops trying to see students during the week especially. And so when they were sharing offices on campus, it was too many conflicts. So this is a welcome improvement. Church leaders plan to use the meeting house for conferences, institute, and social gatherings too big for the average building. They also plan to make the building available to other churches and denominations. The size is impressive, but what's inside is really amazing. All the lights are motion censored. If you go through the building, you'll see sensors where the wall switch normally would be. These speakers right in front of the bishop's offices pump out white noise for extra privacy. They even landscape the lawn to bring down costs. Sensors in the soil that turn the water on when the soil says it needs water, not on a predetermined time. Church leaders say this meeting house is built to serve BYU and the Provo community for years to come. Jeff Merrill, BYU Weekly.